Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Um, tomorrow we are heading to the Winter Aero Festivals at Beacons in Wales, which is a bit of a trek for us, but I picked it because it was all outdoors and hopefully it'll be judges that don't really know us, so it'll be a completely fresh perspective. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my reasoning there for the long journey. <laughs> um, it's Milo's, it's only going to be his second stairway. He is doing the novice silver. Um, and yeah, I'm not feeling too bad because I am going knowing that this is just like an educational thing to see where he's at and where I'm at with him um, and how much our partnership has come on. Because I think going to these new places where he's not been and they might be scary and stuff really helps me to know how he's responding to me, if that makes sense. Um, and how I can manage him in situations and stuff. I think that's really good learning experience for him and me. Um, so I'm going with that idea in my head. We're definitely not going to be there to challenge the leaders at all. Um, yeah, so that's kind of taken the pressure off a bit. However, I am a little bit stressed. Um, my arm is also now killing me. I've tried to film this a couple of times, but my arm just keeps going dead. Um, but yeah, we are, we had a bit of an annoying not an annoying day, a bit of a, um, just a rubbish day yesterday, um, all to do with rough, <laughs> and I basically didn't end up riding Milo yesterday, so that was not in my plan of preparation, I was going to take him on a nice long hack to get him out of the arena and to tire him out a bit really, and then I was going to school him today, but he didn't do anything yesterday, I just ran out of time, the vet was here for so long, um, but I will go into that in another video about rough once we, like, we kind of know what we're dealing with, hopefully now, but I want to, um, have, like, a proper plan in action before I talk to you about it, um, and then I can explain a bit better what we're doing and why, um, but yeah, I'm go I'm not going to go into that just now, um, that will be for a different video, and this one is just all about Milo. So I'm actually going to crack on and start riding now, doing stuff I've been procrastinating because he's been really hard work recently, although he has been much better since he had a visit from the physio, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack on and actually do something because I've got a lot to get done tonight. He was so good. I am very, very pleased with him. He was a good old boy. He was. He was so good. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a bit more relieved now, a bit more ready. <laughs> Having had him behave that well today after a day off, I'm really happy. Usually he's quite bad after a day off. So my plan of action now is to take him in, um, wash him so he's all clean because he's a bit sweaty too because he worked very hard. Um, and then I've got some other bits and bobs. I packed my clothes this morning, so they're ready to go. But I need to pack his stuff and then clean my tack and stuff as well. So I will keep you up to date. Um, and then we'll be all ready for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to work in the morning. So he's going to go out in the field for a bit, for a few hours. And then my mum's going to get him in and pack, like, the car and stuff ready to go. And the trailer, um like put everything into it if i leave it already tonight so yeah we have a plan of action don't we you don't know what's coming he's moving country well not moving country he's visiting another country technically mm. grabby
beautiful. <laughs> this stuff is the best. It smells so good. I could honestly wear its perfume. Do you think? Yes. I've got a busy day today, off to work first, obviously, and then I will be back to um, get loaded up and go, put everything ready. So that's good. And um, yeah, let's do it. Home from work now, I look gross and I'm really sweaty because I've been riding all morning. Um, so that's disgusting, but I'm gonna go and load up now and head off. So. Fingers crossed for a smooth journey. There he is. There he is. Good boy. Oh dear. Why would you do that? We have successfully made it. Mum has gone to locate stable and where we should park because we got her cut. Um, Milo. He's right here. Can you see him? He looks really fat on the camera. Um, and then... Yeah, we're gonna park up, get out, probably tack him up and ride him now because it's so, I'll turn you around in a minute, it's so foggy. Um, ride him before it gets too dark, it's like half four. So it'll probably be like five by the time we get on, so I don't have long. So do that, mum can sort out his stable hopefully. Um, and hopefully all will be good. This is the fog situation, very foggy. <laughs> Oh. There's people around and I'm not publicly confident enough to hold my phone up really hard to see, to say, but he's been so good. Um, yes, he mean? He has been mega, like so relaxed. He's just been perfect. Um, kind of in shock, but really happy. So I'm really pleased with him. So he's just in the warm up. It's very foggy now. The um, actual arena is like beyond. Oops, got an itch. It is like beyond there. But he's very pleased. He's been by himself the whole time, so he's clearly enjoyed that. He's got past all these spooky things. <laughs> oh, itch. No, oh, don't itch. Your legs will be dirty. Milo was pretty happy in his stable. I think he is um, just stood with his head over his door. He has like a, I'll show you, but he has like a grid and we folded it down um, because he was really panicked. He's never like been enclosed. Um, his stable at home, he can see over all the walls apart from the back wall and the stable front. So that was really scary for him. So we've folded it down. Um, for the time being and he seems really happy now in there we have come for dinner we're getting dominoes um so mum's just waiting for that i was really panicked though you know when they rush you and they're like what do you want and i'm like oh, i haven't decided yet but anyway it's fine and i've just picked up the essentials family pack of mini eggs i'm not sure mum's gonna be very impressed with those but i felt they were important and then i've got a drink <laughs> because we were so rushed i did not ask for a drink at domino's and i've got her one too and some milk for the morning and hot chocolate um later the weather is disgusting it is raining um and it's just like so foggy we must be higher up than we think because it's fine down here in the town but up on the hill where beacons is is just crazy foggy like you literally can't see in front of you but anyway 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 it's all good and yeah i'm really hungry now i've devoured nearly a whole pack of, like share pack of mini cheddars before we came um because i just wanted to wait to make sure he was definitely settled but he seems fine so fingers crossed he's where we left him when we get back It is the morning and I am up and ready to go and do the arena walk. Milo's had breakfast. He seems reasonably happy, not too stressed. Um, so I'm gonna go down. 
and get on him and arena walk and then we basically just got to wait around really for the test <laughs> find some breakfast um i need to plat him um my test's at 20 past two so we've got quite a while so yeah a lot of waiting around today i think <laughs> really pleased with Milo we survived the arena walk so he's back in his stable chilling for the time being he was so good um he didn't spin at anything no whipping round no demolishing the board so I'd just take that as a win for the weekend but he wasn't even really spooky he was tense and he jogged but I now carry a whip in the arena walk I never ride him with a whip apart from in the arena walks now and I literally just have to kind of hold it against his shoulder and he knows then not to whip round so hopefully that will continue to work going forward. But he was so good today, didn't spin at anything, was just a bit tense, like jog past. But he started to relax and usually he's very good once he's in the boards, he knuckles down and he does his job then, if that makes sense. Um, it's usually just the arena walk where he's very tense, but we'll see. I'm really pleased with him anyway. Um, I think that's a big win because the past two times he's been whipping around um, and stuff with me and things. So if we can have a test now where he doesn't whip around, I would be pretty happy to go home and accept that as a major win this weekend. So fingers crossed, he will be pretty good. Fingers crossed. Time for some plats. Hmm? Time for some plats. Good boy. The cider. His plats are done. This is driving me nuts. No matter how much I try and gel it down with this, they are not having it. So that's annoying. I mean, that is horrible. I don't know why it's done that. I can get the black bits, but this is just gross. He was such a good boy though. He hates being like plattered and stuff. Just trying to put your rubber hold. Um, he hates being like plattered and stuff because he's really sensitive to like touch. Um, so usually just, it's, yeah, just impossible. Um, but today he has been so good. I am impressed. Good boy. You've been very good today. You've been very good today. Could you do a nice test or not? No? Maybe.
I'm actually pretty shocked at how good he's been today. Like, who is this? Who is this? <laughs> not very affectionate, are you? Not usually. No, not today. <laughs> Milo. It's not very nice. Good boy. No. Oh. Bored now. Shall I unleash you? Shall I unleash you? I think I'm gonna go and find some lunch and then come back and get ready. Hopefully he'll be good. It's raining and windy though, so I'm not going to hold my breath. He's so handsome. He's so handsome. What are you listening to? This is the grill that we had to pull down because he was terrified. He's so relaxed now. Although he hasn't eaten his breakfast, so. Naughty little boy. Good boy. Good boy. See you later. Be good. <laughs> and their friend is here come second, so that's good. Yeah, so. So I'm going to do a voiceover of Milo's test. I will read the comments and I've put the marks on the screen as there was three judges. So there's quite a lot going on and to be said. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he's just a bit tense going around the outside. He was really nervous at that C end. Um, but he was really good and I was really pleased with him. So that is all that matters. So for our entry at A and turning left, we had the comments tense, above the bit and tight in the neck and some tension. For C, H, working trot and S, F, changing the range, showing some medium trot strides. We had the comment, not on the bit, which he clearly isn't. Um, tense stroke hurried and needs to develop more ground cover. For the circle right at A and AV working trot, we had the comment falling out left and needs more suppleness to the left. For changing the rain and showing some medium trot strides V to M, we had the comment, no difference, no to left and needs to show more difference in ground cover and needs to develop elasticity. For the circle left at C, 15 metres, we had comments, fighting the contact, coming against the hand and some tension. Then for the transition to canter between C and H and the circle left 20 metres at E, giving and retaking the reins when crossing the centre line for the second time, we had the comments of head up in give and retake, losing balance in the give and retake and needing more relaxation. For the working canter E round to F, we had the comment inconsistent contact coming above the bit at times and needing more relaxation. For the medium canter and transition to trot, we had the comment um, inconsistent in contact, tilting the head and losing the quarters and needing more ground cover. For the transition to medium walk, and the medium walk, we had the comments resistant in transition from two of the judges.
changing the rain in free walk on a long rain s2p we had the comment needs to develop more ground cover and swing and needs to stretch and swing more For the medium walk at P and transition to trot, we had one comment who said one comment saying tense and one saying obedient. <laughs> um, for the working hand to transition and the circling right at E twenty meters, given retaking the reins and crossing the center line for the second time, we had the comments head up in given retake, being unsteady in the contact and needing more swing and ground cover. For the working canter E to M, we had resistant to the contact and um, unsteady in the contact. For the medium canter strides, we had the comment clear a difference, and needing more push from behind to develop a more uphill medium. Then for the transition to trot, allowing the horse to stretch at K and circling right, twenty half circle right, 20 metres, we had the comment, needs to be more consistent in stretch, needs to stretch down and out more, and needs to develop confidence to help with the stretch. For the retaking of the reins and turning down the centre line, we had a comment not on the centre line and that he needs more suppleness. And for the halt at X, we had the comments wide behind, step back and hocks out. So that was the test. I was really pleased with him. I obviously achieved the aim of having not spun round in the middle of the test. Um, so that was significantly improved. And we had some nice comments on the bottom of the sheet just saying that he needs to develop more um, confidence and it was just the tension affecting him and that I wrote him nice and quietly so all good things. <laughs> what are you speaking at? <laughs> Boy. I think he is certainly tired now. We're off to find home, aren't we? Come on then. Good lad. Oh, run home. is all done now. Milo absolutely hates the trailer but we can't clear out his stable around him because it's very annoying when he's anxious he's quite bolshy. Um but here he is going home soon. Um he was really good I was so pleased with him. He behaved impeccably. He was really good. He was a tiny bit spooky at the bottom end by the like huts and stuff. Um but other than that he was so good and he didn't do anything naughty he didn't stop he didn't try and go backwards he didn't spin he didn't he literally didn't do anything other than just get a bit tense um and was like oh not sure and kind of locked against me but other than that like that's nothing um so he got like 62 point something percent so he's definitely not going to be a threat to anyone here but i just think you can't put a, like a percentage or a score or a placing on his behaviour today um, or this whole weekend he has been impeccably behaved I'm so proud of him I was like coming out and I was like don't cry I'm really happy but I was like don't cry because he was just so good I just can't believe it um yeah when I think about the fact oh 
got no chance. When I think about the fact literally a week ago, I was like, do I even want to carry on doing dressage with him? Um, because it's there any point basically? Because he was just so bad the other week. Um, and then this week he's just been unbelievable. I'm so, so happy, kind of relieved as well. Because I was like, maybe he just needs to hack and do pole work, a bit of jumping, fun rides, just have a really chilled life. Maybe he doesn't want to be a competition horse. But he's been so well behaved this weekend. He seems to have really enjoyed himself. Um, so yeah, maybe not quite retiring to a hacking life just yet. Actually as well, I don't know how much of the warm up my mum filmed, but he was amazing in the warm up, like definitely some of his best work. So if we can get that in a test soon, um, then that would be so good. And usually as well, he's like a two test horse. So he usually does a test first. And then, like at a normal show, he does a test first, and then he does, like, another test. Oh, yes. Um, because he can be quite bad in the first test, but just one test day, and he was so well behaved, so pleased with him. And, yeah, just generally quite excited now to see what else we can do, and if this behaviour continues to improve. Um, because, as I keep saying to people, the work and the training and stuff, that will all come on. Um, but his behaviour and his attitude to his work is kind of down to him. There's not much I can do other than keeping his lifestyle varied um, to help him with that. So, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of down to him. So if he's happy and he wants to carry on, then that is what we will do. A Highland coo. I didn't notice this on the way in. Did you? It looks like a seaside town. 